Hi and welcome to class 6 of our photography class. So what we're going to do now is pick up the second part of our portrait class that Tim did. As you remember just before the break we uh, had a really great class on portrait photography and we're working our way through three different looks that we've challenged Tim with. So let's pick up now part 2 over at Tim Willard's studio. So Tim, part 2 now, we're picking it up from where we left it off last week. And I think the really interesting thing is how different we're going to go between the start of last week and the end of this week. We're going to cover a really vast range of quite sort of different emotional responses almost. Uh, yeah, I think so. And because energy is such a terrific subject, uh, we can go from the straightforward corporate chart to have a lot more fun, both with the way we pose her and then what we do with the light. And then we can almost go to a classical kind of uh, study almost. Yep. That, um, yeah. So, so well... I'm really keen to see the second half, and uh, and I think it's testament to how well you're going that that you know in any one of these three, Angie is actually producing, as I say, quite a different sort of emotional response. Yeah, yeah, she is. That's why I mean, she's a great subject to work with, and uh, you know I think when we put all the pictures together at the end, they look fantastic. Okay, well let's get to it. All right. Because we haven't got a f a, f a fill light from the front yep. or a. Uh, uh, already reflector on the uh, left side of shot, but if you just turn slightly away to camera left, then we do lose a lot of light on that side. Might not be a problem for these action shots, but let's shoot a few now and see how we go. Okay. Same yeah, yeah. Just strike each a time, pose. Each time, come into a different pose for me, and uh, just just whatever you think's a fair thing. Okay, that's <laughs> that's your classic model shot, and the hands are up like that. Mm -hmm. Taking these kind of shots, mm. they almost can't be uh, can't be too choreographed. No. Um, you had you had music to any of this? Let's add yeah. some music. Yeah, mm. sure. Uh, <laughs> I think the thing is, whatever makes Ange feel comfortable yeah. is going to work best. And uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world to stand and have everybody staring at you while you're kind of jumping no. around. So. Uh, what we'll do, actually, is we'll get Jimmy to dance off camera, and that will make Ange feel better because there'll be somebody else leaping around the, uh, at the same time. All right, so <clears throat> what we want to do is, is just a lot of action in the body. So it's, it's arms up, legs, legs up. I haven't got a bounce, so but we could do, I know it's a concrete floor, but we could do a little bit of a bouncy sort of thing as well. Now, I'm just going to, before we go any further, I'm going to reshuffle myself back in here, Mike, so that I don't have fun. Um... Okay, do that again. How many more of those have you got in you? And again. I think, okay, just... Do some like... more of those ones, and try and get the knee in like you were... Yeah. I'm just going, you're going to just add a frame a bit for me now. Yeah, you, the knees in works. Yeah, yeah that's right. The, the knock need one. Knees like in, yep. Yeah. Oops. Knees together. Trust me, this looks good. Yeah. Come and have a look. Can we just show Ange? Yep, yeah, yeah. just to... Uh... You see how that knee turned in? It looks really cool. And there's one you did earlier. Where... So that kind of stuff's like less cool, I reckon. As the knees turn in, for some reason it just looks cool. But, you know, it's the luck of the draw where your hand is relative to shadows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just try one of those now. Yeah, and again. Yep, and again. Okay, I'll get a wider stool. And again. Actually, if both, if bo both knees come up... Yeah, both knees up is better. I don't get knees in the frame. Yeah, yeah. And keep and not too wide. Keep your hands, keep your hands, not too high or too wide. Just bent like that. Yeah. Because I haven't got much width in the frame. If you get going like that, I've lost 
lost your fingertips. Okay. Okay, go now. No, no, that's good. Then again. That's better. Hands not quite so high. Go again. Just, I just like it all in, and I just can't go any further back. Yeah. Just keep it a little bit, a little bit tighter with the hands. Unless I put a shorter lens on. Literally and get more cross in. your hands above your head, almost behind your head. Yeah, that's it. Okay, try that again. And again. And and oh gee, you do go high. And again. Lower to your head. Almost, yeah. Okay, go again. Didn't go. Oh yeah, you went nearly that high. Okay, that'll do, I think. And now the uh, the front one, the you know the. Don't forget the knees in. Yeah, like that. Good. Just keep this right um, a little bit lower. Yeah, so you have to go that way. Because of the shadows. Up like that, it's, you've got shadow from the hand. Yep, that's it. Brilliant. Yeah, the serious look. And then a wider one. With the, with, the, with the knees in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, knees, yep. to, knees to get, that's it. A bit like that, yeah. Not quite as extreme, but yeah. That's it. And then turning your face towards your left a bit. They don't actually have to touch your knees. They don't have, they don't have to touch. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, nice. Just one more without them touching, because it looks odd when they touch. That's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just that your face isn't particularly good in that one, right? No, no. But when your knees are actually together, yeah. that looks odd, right? Yeah. It doesn't have to be fully in, it's just a little bit in. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, but attitude. Attitude. And again, you don't have to bend quite so much. The whole thing doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't have to be so extreme. Okay, yeah, try again. That's nice. And just allow your head to tilt. So your hands like this, just, yeah, 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 yeah. And then more, more bending, squatting, leaning in, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a serious one, serious face. Okay. So what we were going to do was... Uh, can that light it? at the back come down? Go no no the one that's not being used. Oh yeah yeah. Being mm -hmm. propped in, camera right. Are we seeing that, Jim? Yeah, we'll see that. So just come into a, a bit of a, a bit of a squat into that that sort of pose like a, that. Maybe a bit of Jimmy. Yeah. We're dark on front. Uh, we don't want the front light knock off. Yeah. So yeah. give us that that pose again. Yeah, one like that. Yeah. Okay. And again. A little bit of Jimmy in there, is that one? Yeah. Okay, and do this thing at Jimmy's camera. But serious at Jimmy. Okay. So, Ange, you've had a wardrobe change. We're now going for the more serious uh, kind of presentation. We've done the fun stuff. Tim, what, what are you doing now with the lighting in terms of a more serious... Well, I've got to do a black theme. Very black on black. Very low key, yeah. So she's wearing black, it's dark background. I'm going to make a frame, first of all, with our big soft light, uh, so we can see what that looks like. Then I'm going to change to a smaller, narrower light just to highlight her so this is face. A, these are ones we don't want you smiling in. These are your serious 60 minute shots. Also like a little smirky smile? No, this is serious. Serious investigative reporter. Just with a straight face looking straight towards the camera. Very slightly move away from camera. 
is if you're just backing off a little bit. Keep going away from me slightly more. Okay. And then turn towards the light itself. Turn your whole body towards the light. Keep going, keep going. Stop about there. Oops. No smirking, no smiling. Just quite a serious one. Okay, now what I want you to do is come forward towards me slightly. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep keep coming. Stop. So what we're doing here is actually almost hiding behind the light, aren't we, to the side of it? Yeah, this is about how far the light wraps, or in this case doesn't wrap around to the front. So I'll just make a quick adjustment to the exposure there. It's pretty gorgeous though. Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? This would be the serious actress movie poster shot. Mm. The life and times of Jackie O, the, the pre-Onassis years. <laughs> Here am I saying okay. don't laugh when I'm cracking jokes, sorry. Okay, now... Sorry? That looks sad. Yeah, but that's the idea. Okay. So that's a soft window light. So what we're going to do now is change, um, change the kind of light we've got coming in from the front. In fact, it's... it's um, wow. It's actually not that heavy, is it? It's no, it's all just... Air. It's all just smoke and mirrors, and I'm just going to put this down to the side if I just don't trip on the cord. There we go. Now, what sort of fitting are we putting on the light now? So it's a small, <clears throat> a small circular dish with a diffuser in the middle and a honeycomb at the front. And so this will be very sort of harsh, almost, wouldn't it? This is. It's going to be a much smaller light so, source, so it's a lot more harsh, but a lot more direct, so that's not much light going anywhere else. And will you have forelock, or are you going to aim it straight at her face? I'm going to aim it straight at her face, a little bit of wrap around. Just turn your face towards me slightly. Okay. Stop about there. And because it's a completely different reflector on that light, it's going to output a different amount of flash to the front. So I'll just take another meter reading of the flash at that point. What are you getting on that? Uh, I, I was eight and a half before. Now I'm getting f8. F8. And in fact, on these lights, we can actually adjust effectively your exposure by adjusting the amount of flash in the, in the light. I can adjust the flash power at the packs, yeah. Or you yeah. could just move the light Or move the light up. further. Yeah. It changes the quality of the light. So this is a very somber, um, but actually, oh, that's a very stark image. Yeah, so it's a much sharper shadow because it's a smaller light source. Now turn your face towards me slightly. And, a, and without any other light, a lot more goes into shadow. Now, I'm going to take the light further around to the side. So at the moment we have the Sydney Theatre Company, I'm doing Chekhov photo. My serious actress, I'm doing Chekhov this season. Yes. And now we're going to go for what? Moving it back around, we're going to get more shadow, right? Even more shadow still. So, and I want these pictures now, that's looking at camera, but I want us now to be then looking almost silhouette. So what we need is, uh, Chrissy, is, is just to pull some hair back from the right side of the face. Yes. Wow, that looks great. You know what, I, I really like that we don't have her face fully eliminated. I like yeah. the fact that we're, you know, it's like that thing with magazine with uh, text advertising where you say, I want the white space. You know, the negative spaces negative space. That's right. uh, with her hair, and all we're really reading then is the sheen on her hair, almost no form on her. Mm. I like that a lot. Okay, yep, that's good. So you're looking out towards the pick a point on the wall. Do you want me to give an eye towards the wall there. No, just, just at uh, any particular point is, is good. And stay right there. Just hold still for me. That's nice. Now, just lean forward a little bit from the waist so that you're looking down slightly. Yep. Okay. And then just very slightly turn your face till your eyes can get to camera. Okay. Stop right there. And then look away from me slightly, halfway. Okay, so I think we're better off back in the silhouette. 
even further silhouette. So side on. Now, Angie has a fabulous profile. So we're going to make the last oh, we're actually frame or so a... even more dramatic still, um, putting her further into the darkness and uh, just highlighting the almost just the edge of her face and neck. Just to allow the shirt to come up apart a little bit. How flat can I make that? So it's just, just as wide, yeah. Just want to see, mostly I want to see that. I want that, that see that bulge there, I want that to disappear. Can it, can it roll down flat? Now, how much light have we got in the face there? Especially none. Uh, especially none. Okay, so we're looking across that way. And that might be, I haven't got any other flashes on, have I? So my one thing I didn't ask you is mm. the, the lens that we've been shooting on with this today. You mm -hmm. haven't been changing the lens, you've been actually using a zoom lens, haven't you? Yes, yeah, it's a 70 to 200 millimetre zoom. 70 to 200? So when I've, I've moved the camera position a little bit, but if I need a tighter headshot, uh, I've just been zooming in. And that's a Nikon? And this is a Nikon lens, yes, on the Fuji camera. Fuji's nice because such lovely skin tones. Okay, now I need a little bit less hair on your right side. You get a little Just less take hair. take that up a little bit. Just looking straight to the wall for a moment. Let me do one before Chrissy, before you jump in. Sorry. Okay. All right, now. Okay, go in now. I want to see how much I'm going to, how, how little rather I'm going to leave in. Just like the highlight on the nose and the cheekbones. The kind of thing we'd almost drop out everything else to black. This. Maybe the profile has gone a bit far. But I reckon you could almost swing the lights more to the. Well, I guess you're getting a nose shadow badly, but. Even further behind. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I reckon. Maybe more dramatic. And that's why the honeycomb, of course, is going to help us protect the uh, protect the the light from spilling into the lens. So this is a really dramatic rimlet only, and there's going to be very little light in the side of the face. Just very slowly turn your face towards the camera. Mm -hmm. No, no, just as just uh, I'm going to shoot as you turn around slowly. So one there, turn a little bit towards me. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then turn a bit towards me again. And a little bit more towards me, right, okay, there we go. That's nice. Then just turn your eyes towards me. And we'll have virtually nothing in the eyes there at all. It's a bit too dark, but I quite like the... So what I like about that is the... The quality openness. of openness. Yeah. Do you have anything that could wear bare shoulders? Uh, the black top that was inside the shirt. Where's that? Oh, it's here. Was that kind of lighting was all right, but if we got skin through here. Okay, so what we have, yeah, no, is, uh, turn the face that way. So shoulder, sorry, towards your left a bit. Now a little bit towards your right, okay. And now shoulders back a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, now don't move from there, that's fine. And then as I bring the light around. You okay with that? What it is is it is all it was all just you know, collarbone and shoulders and what have you. Yeah. That's good there. Then just turning your face towards me again a little bit here. And I can get so annoying, I've got that bloody sunshine coming in the other light, because I can see light in your eyes, but I know it's not mine. Okay, that's that's good. No, it's only it's only my light. Okay, let me just see if that exposure is going to be okay. And it's still very dark and moody, but we're going to have just that little bit more light in the eye. And I think what we need to do is make a crop at the end of the day. A little bit more light in the eye still. Now, Tim, you're reading the um, light minute reading for that uh, as an as a incidental light reading towards the light or towards the lens? Uh, mostly towards the lens. Okay. Cause this would be uh, in this, in this case, I could take it towards the light or towards the lens, and it wouldn't. It would be the same. Okay. Oh, I'd give it the same exposure because I want to read the amount of flash that's falling at 
at this point, and the, that, the brightness of that flash is the same whether I'm looking at it from near the light or from the camera. It would only be if we were spot metering that we'd start to have issues here, wouldn't we? Because you have so much black in the shot. Yes. Uh, yes, that's right. If you were taking a, an average reading from the front, yes, the meter, meter would be fooled. By our rim light. Yes. OK. Now, I think shoulders back. So that, yeah, shoulders to the back, but turn towards me. But almost as though you're leaning in towards me like this. That yeah, 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 that's it, yeah, yeah. So that, so that the shoulders aren't square across the picture, but you've got a bit of a lean in. Okay. Mm -hmm. And again, that's still very, very, very dramatic. And darker, maybe just the last frame will even soften it off a little bit more with a bit of light coming in from wrapping around the front. Okay. All right. Now, Lovely. by way of contrast, let's show what happens if we actually bring this light to the front, Tim. Yep. Not that we want to, but just to show how much it's going to flatten out and uh, how much less dramatic we're going to get. We can bring this light right over the top. Because we've really worked our way from the back three-quarter mm -hmm. round to the front. Yeah, that's right. And even though this probably isn't one you're going to want to go with. Let's look at it. Just well, it's a, it is a good light. Actually, it's quite a nice way to light. And um, there's nothing wrong with it coming directly over the top. And traditionally, on a, uh, on a beauty shoot, you'd probably have this light over the top like that. And then you'd also have a reflector underneath. Um, do you want me to hold th the reflector? That's in? right. Well, we'll do one without, first of all, and, and see how that looks. So you're looking square to the lens. OK. And uh, yeah, the body can be quite square. And rather than reset the light, I'll just get you to lower yourself a little bit, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Stop there. We'll imagine we're a little bit shorter today. And uh, okay. And let me shoot one there. And now, should we try that with the reflector? Well, we can use a a poly or white. Uh, foam, yep. which is probably soft enough to put in, or else we would use uh, a, a shiny mirror. But I think a, uh, a white foam board might be the best thing to do. And I'll, you can actually just hold that, yep. hold that in there like that. Okay. I'd like that to be as high as possible, but it's not Slightly going to be. Slightly lower, I think. Yeah, you're coming a little lower. And this gives you a nice reflection up in the shadows there, and it'll soften it out. Very nice indeed. Just lower that reflector a little bit for me. Okay. Right in there. I'd probably want to have, with this kind of lighting, we'd probably revert to a white background and keep it all, because it's all soft. When you come around to the front, the lighting's very soft frontal lighting, equal either side. Do you want me to lower that? And I'd, um, I'd make a white background out of it. No. Okay, yeah, let's make a frame like that. Okay, so what we've done now is we've just dropped the black behind Ange so that she's going to really sing out from the background and punch out with the uh, lighter background. And then we've got the white reflector again. And uh, let's see how that's looking. Maybe a little higher with the reflector, Tim? Is it a bit higher? Do you think it needs to be higher? Uh, no, it's just out of frame. Oh, you can, can bring it up a little bit higher, yep. Okay. Could we try her hair not behind her ears? Yeah. Sorry. This is really... No, no, no. no? Bit out at the side. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Just pop focus in that. How critical the focus is. And focus on her ear, mm. but not on the eye. Yeah. <laughs> that's the, now that's the shade of the field. There you go. We get that one right. It's a bit brighter. It's easy to see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. <clears throat> if I keep to all shoulders. Actually, you know what? <clears throat> Just put both hands out underneath it like that. 
and just allow it to lower the touch. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to include shoulders in like that. Yeah, lovely. And we'll crop out the reflector that appears in the bottom of the frame for us. Okay. That's nice and... That's nice. And then a big smile. Okay, lovely. We misfired on the back. Oh yeah, misfired on the back. Okay. Yeah, that was better. That's white. Is it a smile is good? Lovely. Okay, now doing? let's just try one. Can you put both arms out straight out? Yeah. I'm going to hold your reflector for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so arms straight out. That way? Yeah, straight out, sort of muscular. Yeah, that's it. Just wait till we get a hair and then we'll be right. Arms up slightly. That's it. And try that. Turn. Okay. Lovely. Excellent. Well, that's, that's, that's now, we just want one shot with you and Tim together, and I'll take the button, I'll press the button. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. The PR that shot. On? Yeah, I definitely want you to not have any wardrobe malfunctions. I would probably actually want to go this way then. Yeah. Okay. It's the only time I get to take a photo. Okay. All right, now it's a fairly, oh, I'm sorry, your better side. <laughs> Um, so, so and you're just slightly in front of Tim. Yeah, I need, we need to be quite close together. Yeah, because exactly. There's not much quite close. The light. That's the idea. And then everyone goes that way a little bit, and that reflector's fully in shot. Hey, just wait one second, because I'm not a professional. The reflector, yeah, that's coming in here. Yeah. You might want to get that a bit higher because it's shadowing your. We want, what we actually actually want to do is this. Okay, so um, you know, takes, let me take this and this. We're going to stand about here. It'll just to be a softer spread. Yep. Um, I think it said F8 on the camera, so that's cool. Everyone goes that way a little bit. That's it. I'm doing that the meter. I thought the meter was really nice, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go camera left, and I'm going to get a bit of scenery in. That's it. Don't smile, Tim. <laughs> I'm Do just you joking. Smile or not smile? I was just joking. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm pressing the button. Nothing's happening. Press it's a great button. shot. Just wait. Okay. Good. No, so they have it's a it's a focus thing. It's struggling to focus somehow. Is it does it look is it look in focus? I'll just put it in manual focus. Yeah, it's this, right. this 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 front one here if it need to focus it. Because it's um if it doesn't it's unfortunately with that camera if it doesn't focus it it doesn't focus. Stop. Oh, now it's smiling or gummy. You were gummy smile. This is harder than it looks, isn't it? No, oh, Tim was looking at it. I'm looking away at the screen. That's the thing I hate other people doing. <laughs> Smile, Ange. <laughs> okay. Now let's get one with Tim serious. Because I seriously think Tim looks good serious. Thanks. Ange, you can be happy. You're in shot. You're just happy. How come I'm happy? You're a happy person. <laughs> happy person. So there's a full of whisker there. I was slightly behind. Yeah, that's the Lord's. Is it Lord Snowden? What's the and, world? And, and do you want me to doing one like I'm yeah. taking a reading? Perfect. Okay, all right, that's it. We're done. Okay, time for your class assignment. But before I do that, I just want to say how amazingly impressed we are with the quality of the work that's been posted in the forums. From the getting up at dawn stuff, the uh, filmic looking, the car stuff in week one, just amazing. Just such a great body of stuff. In fact, it's so good. We're really looking at putting on more photography classes in coming terms and really building up this photography production side of the business. So, wow. Thanks so much, guys. Amazing work. I'm really glad to, uh, to have that. So this week, we want to finish out the portrait stuff. If you haven't done the class five one, which was to do the three different styles, please do that first. If you have, 
we'd like you to take a portrait shot of somebody with some significant object from their life. So if you're photographing a guitarist like an Eric Clapton, you'd obviously have them with a guitar, right? Um, if you're photographing me, you might have him with my dog. I don't, it doesn't have to be an object, it could be like a pet or something, but we're not after cutesy shots, we're just after a look of a person with one object that's really significant in their life, and we're looking for that in any style that you want to choose. But as I say, if you haven't done the three different looks of the same subject from week five, please do that one first. Until next week, I'm Mike Seymour. See you later.